few years ago, my mum passed away. Um, oh, I wasn't expecting to cry. And my family is trapped in a level of trauma and I don't know how to help them. Uh, one of my brothers, especially. I was wondering if, yeah, you have any advice for how I could help them. So trauma is the fear of feeling the feelings associated with an event. It is often created when in the moment of the event, it was not appropriate to feel the feelings or it was not safe to do so. After that moment passes, one can begin to have their healing process. And the healing is not from the trauma, but it is of the holding in the feelings. You cannot help anyone on their journey if it is not correct for them to move through these things. They do come to their own realizations and their own timing. But what you can do for your family members is to be the example to them of how to do this to remind them that it is safe to feel whatever feelings they are feeling. And when they do have expression of feeling, for you to rest in assurance that it is natural for them to be processing in any ways that they need to do so. For example, if someone is very sad and it seems like they are stuck in that sadness, it might not be a question of them being stuck in the sadness. It might be that there is plenty of sadness for them to get through and they are doing it at a slow pace because that is as fast as they can go. So support for them, of course, and faith that their higher selves are guiding them far better than you can aid in this process. Being willing participant in that aid, doing whatever it is that feels natural for you to share with them and having that complete confidence in the focusing upon the distress that you have in witnessing them in this particular state of being you are not aiding with the state of being but instead compacting it because you are lowering your own vibration when the raising of your vibration and the recollection of this being as the beauty that they are and were and still are is going to support them and also call that energy towards you and your family in a more concrete fashion does this help Yes, it does. Thank you. I did very much believe it was more uh, supporting from the sidelines and my own uh, experience um, and that they will find their own path. But it just hurts to see uh, uh, so much pain, really. Yes. Often when someone passes and there is much pain, the pain that is being expressed is being allowed out by the pain that they believe that is because of the passing. So when someone is in mourning or is in sorrow or has some loss and they are having a strong reaction to it, much of, and this is the gift that people give you as well when they do transition, much of that sorrow and sadness that comes out is yes, related to that person transitioning and them no longer being in physical form with that being, but also to many of the locked cabinets of pain that they had in them before that circumstance was even presented to them to allow them to unlock those drawers and open up to see what was inside. People are very afraid of feeling their feelings. And so when they have the opportunity to do so, you may have noticed that when people have circumstances in their lives that seem big, the reactions are enormous, but there are others who, when there are circumstances in their life that seem big, the reactions are less so. It does not mean they love their parent less. It means that they had less pain in their system that was then permitted to be released because of the excuse of the loss of the parent. A losing of a parent is a natural occurrence, and it is not a painful occurrence in itself in that you have many cultures also that do not associate pain with the transition of another being there is joy associated in many cultures with this but in your most predominant cultures on your planet it is convenient for the conditioning of the humans that are adhering to those cultures to make you afraid of death and tell you that death is the end and that you are in peril when you transition. This is not the case. Your mother has simply rejoined the majority of herself in spirit as her 
incarnate version comes to its end, its natural end, even if perhaps the circumstances around that ending do not feel natural to you or did not feel expected or were not of your preference for that experiencing. So you can feel confident that everything is as it should be and that your mother in having gifted this opportunity to feel pain in the form of the rest of your family members is helping in the relief and the healing of perhaps even intergenerational traumas that were not felt by your ancestors. So watching from the sidelines and seeing this transition and seeing this pain expression as a good thing will help everyone involved move through it faster because they will feel supported by you. I understand. Thank you.